time. We're following important developments in the fight against ISIS. There are now new threats from the terror group and a growing push to liberate key cities in Iraq. Let's discuss all the very latest uh, developments with the Republican Congressman Will Hurd of Texas. He's a member of the House Homeland Security Committee, former clandestine officer in the CIA. Congress, react to these new reports. ISIS now saying their next target outside of the Middle East is Britain. Now, how credible is a threat like that? Well, you got to take ISIS seriously. We've underestimated them before, and if they're targeting a country like Britain, it's probably because they think they have a chance of, of doing something. All of Europe needs to be prepared. Uh, you know, the reports you'll have about them being able to produce uh, fake travel documents. Um, this is something that all of the European Union needs to be mindful of. That needs to change uh, the way they're 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 checking travel documents. So they're a clear and present danger. We also can't forget about ISIS in, in Libya as well. Well, too. As they start losing some territory in Iraq, they're looking west and they're regrouping in, 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 in Libya. And one of the things I learned when I was an undercover officer in the CIA, um, you don't let the bad guys have a, a, a area where they can train um, and equip and, and, and plot against us. Because ISIS clearly wants another Paris-style attack in Britain. Paris attack killed 130 people, injured hundreds more. Uh, here's the question. Can they do that here in the United States? Well, we have to be prepared for that. Um, we have seen one of the biggest areas. I was on a committee that looked at um, foreign fighter travel. And one of the things that we learned is that our European allies are not checking travel documents against known watch lists. And our European allies aren't sharing enough information on suspected terrorists. So being able to get through uh, Europe to come to the United States is a possibility, and that's something that we need to be girding against. And this notion that al-Nusra, this al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria right now, long term, may be an even bigger threat to the United States. You buy that? Uh, it, it's definitely a threat. Um, uh, right now, we should be looking at all these organizations, and, and we should have a policy within the, the United States that we do not let terrorist organizations operate and train and equip um, without being unencumbered. And we need to be, we need to be just as serious at, at Nusra, we need to be as we are with ISIS. And there's also a group that oftentimes not talked about, Al-Shabaab, out of, of East Africa. They are, are a, a threat to, they have the capabilities to launch an attack in the U.S., and they have the interest in doing that, and all three. And, and we need to make sure that ultimately we have a policy that our enemies fear us, and our allies trust us. Let's see if uh, the Iraqi military is up to the task of retaking Mosul and some of these other areas. Uh, at least in the short term, I'm not very upbeat, but we'll see, we'll see what they can do. More U.S. troops apparently heading as trainers and advisors to Iraq as well. Congressman Will Hurd, thanks very much for...